Hello, hello, could you hear me? Give me a like if you can hear me. What's up, baby boo? Hey, give me a heart or a like if you can hear me. I got this propped up. All right, this is gonna be a big, 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 big news conference here. Breaking news. We have some breaking news coming in. This is breaking news. We have some breaking news taking place. There is some major, major knife news taking place. I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready for this news. How's everybody doing tonight? This is your favorite Cutco independent consultant, distributor, salesman, friend, most expensive buddy, and uh, yours truly, Cutco Mike. So, all right, we got an, we got an audience building. All right. After many, many years of dealing the steel, pedaling the metal, slanging blades, cutting deals, there's never a dull moment with your favorite Cutco salesman. So we have officially hit $5 million in Cutco sold. Greg, this afternoon, reached out to me, St. Charles. Uh, you, uh, you're a special soul who's bought a homemaker, upgraded to the ultimate, and, uh, and got us officially over the mark. And then I went straight from landing in Wichita to, uh, to sharpening knives. Thank you, Blaine, for your help today. We did uh, 200 knives we sharpened, and uh, it's so great to see everybody. So, all right, we've got a good audience built. So we're going to bring some entertainment to you here. I am stuck in a Hampton Inn hotel conference room away from my wonderful wife and children and I'm going to give you a little quick story of the Cutco Mike journey. And then we're going to do a, a toast, a saber toast of champagne right at the camera. So it's going to be live right, right at the camera. We're going to toast a saber of champagne. So we did it. We did it. We did it. God is good. $5 million in Cutco sold. It started as a 19-year-old in Broadview, Illinois, driving my mom's Mary Dowitz 93 Mazda Protégé. And uh, my first sale was to my dad, a hunting knife and a pizza cutter. And then I uh, went uh, one for 11, and I was ready to quit. And then I met somebody in Elmhurst, Illinois, that bought this set right here, the homemaker. And I ended up getting a thrill for the sale. And I sold a homemaker set, a touchdown, and I won a trophy from Mike Muriel. And my mentor and, and original manager, Justin Donald, just gave me so much encouragement. Ray Luxa, Artur, so many greats that you know I can list off. I don't, I don't have a script here, but I just want to pay homage to my family, to my original Chicago crew. Uh, and then, you know, the rest is history. I never turned back. You know, being a, somebody who loves baseball, I wanted to be the best, but I never made it in baseball. So I said, I'm going to make it selling knives. So almost 18,000 customer orders later, $5 million sold. We did it. And unfortunately, I won't be with my family, but we're going to celebrate. So I just want to show you how crazy that is. So $5 million divided by 18,000. So an average sale of about 277 bucks. Some buy more, some buy less. If you divide that by trimmers, the number one knife sold by Cutco, that's 60, 66,000 trimmers have been sold in some way, shape, or form through this man named Cutco Mike. So God is good. Uh, you know, the last eight years since I gave my life to the Lord, I broke my arm, $30,000 hospital bill. Uh, did a crazy donation with the Rolex I won, just got invested into my faith. And Larry Lacefield, another great human, just you know, showed me the way of, of uh, just trusting God and putting him in the center of your life with all your decisions. Just really just open up my doors to what, what really is possible in life and what the meaning of life is. And then 
meeting Rachel, you know, as a, as a manager. And now we have three beautiful kids. You've been putting up with me for so many crazy videos. So the list goes on. There's so many great clients and stories and memories. And, you know, I can just sit here all day and talk about everybody. So I just want to thank you all for being a part of the journey. The next 5 million will hopefully come sooner. Uh, it took me officially uh, 16 years in Cutco. Four of those were manager but uh, the last 10 have been basically about $4.6 million worth. So I don't know if you guys can hear me. I got it on a prop stand here with 8% battery. But what we're going to do is we're going to savor this bottle of champagne. I don't have the bottle of Dom because that's only saved for babies born. So this is Cook's, the good expensive stuff, because I'm selling you stuff that you cook with. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do something called Saber. So we're going to take a Cutco veggie knife here, okay? And we're going to take this top off and we're going to shoot it at you. And I'm going to drink it by myself and I'm going to pour my wife a glass here in my mustache Hampton Inn cup. And then we're going to celebrate when we get home. But I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I couldn't have done it without your referrals, your money, your investments, your love. Uh, there's so many great stories, and I'm sure I'll make a book about it someday. But the mission is not over. We're going to keep building a brand and a legacy that the boys will take over. And if you don't have Cutco and you're watching this, like, what the heck are you waiting for? $5 million sold by this guy, a, a BC student from Broadview, Illinois. Uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, but thank you to everybody who's been a part of the journey. I love you all. Obviously, um, you know, there's so many people here to pay homage to. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to saber this thing, okay? I forget how. Okay, actually, I don't want to take the top off. That would have that would have been me opening it. See, it's been a long day. A lot of, a lot of uh, lead shavings have gone in my brain. All right, so if you want to saber, you might want to YouTube this first before you, like, blow out a window or you take your kid's head off. But the goal of the saber is to pop the top with the back side of a cut go. So we're gonna take the veggie knife, the flat knife here. All right, don't cut yourself. All right, honey, I won't cut myself. And then what you do is you just kinda, you kinda just give it a little love here. You kinda start building up a little speed. Let's see if I can do this here. So let's see. So basically, all right. I forget how I did this, but hopefully it works, okay? All right. All right, give me some likes here. I need some likes, okay? I need some anticipation here. All right, I think this is how I did it. All right, ready? One. By the way, if you're coming to my sharpening event tomorrow and it smells like champagne, I apologize. It's not every day I sell $5 million in knives, so we'll try to clean up the mess, okay? All right, all right. Oh, oh! Not on live TV here. Let's see if we can do it again. Hey! Guys, thank you so much. Favor to you. Favor to Cutco. God bless. And cheers to many more years of selling knives. Thanks for watching. Cutco Mike out. I'm back. Do you want to buy some knives? I got to sell 10 million now. Who wants to buy? Who wants to be my next order? Yeah. Hi. This is me, up close and personal. Yeah, I got a big nose, but people buy knives. Love you.